Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Titus chapter 2. Doing good for the sake of the gospel. You, however, must teach what is appropriate to sound doctrine. Teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, self-controlled, and so sound in faith, and love and endurance. Likewise, teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanders or addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. Then they can urge the younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled and pure, to be busy at home, to be kind, and to be subject to their husbands, so that no one will malign the word of God. Similarly, encourage the young men to be self-controlled, and everything set them an example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned, so that those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about us. Teach slaves to be subject to their masters in everything, to try to please them, not to talk back to them and not to steal from them, but to show that they can be fully trusted so that in every way they will make the teachings about God, our Savior, attractive. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. While we wait for the blessings, hope, the appearing of the glory of the great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. These, then, are the things you should teach. Encourage and rebuke with all authority. Do not let anyone despise you. So one thing I did want to point out about this passage um, and throughout the Bible, there are some topics that are brought up that are controversial for today. This is set in a different time period, um, so it does mention slaves. Obviously, slaves um, in America, that is something that we don't agree with or teach, uh, that, but that was something that they had back then uh, as a society. Um, so that's why Paul is mentioning this, because it was something that existed. Um, but the general statement of what the, this text is saying is that we need to make sure that uh, we are continue learning and uh, practicing what Jesus Christ did and how he lived on earth so that no one can accuse us of anything if we're re living a righteous life. Um, so that that's what this text is saying is we should be living lives that are blameless um, and basically living our life for Christ. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will continue with Titus chapter 1 next. <laughs>